Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another exciting episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, and we're over at the biogas plant, and I'm going to try some, some kind of an experiment today, but first of all, I wanted to show off my bouncing tires. Look at how this thing squish. I like the physics in this game, when it works. Anyway, um, a couple episodes ago, we loaded up a most of a scoop here and dumped it in there and found that 4,000 liters of loose silage brought in, boy, it was almost 1,700, wasn't it? Like 1,690-something? We know that a bale of silage from a grass bale wrapped up is something like $1,450, $1,475. And I was, you know, talking about that last time, and Klaus wrote in and and uh, made a comment that, that uh, caught my curiosity. There I am. Um, does it fluctuate with supply and demand like other crops do when you sell them? We're right here, the McLean Biogas Plant. McLean, I like that. Um, so we've got all of our commodities here. We still have our sugar beets. Yeah. Yep, sugar beets, sugar beets, not sweet potatoes. <laughs> I will never get that name right. Anyway, what is silage? It's not that one. That's got to be manure. It's like a steaming pile of manure right there. Um, that kind of looks like wood chips. Yeah, that's a sawmill. I think it was something like this. It's assuming you're going to be using the the uh, uh, the bales, I guess, to have this shape instead of a pile like so. But 326 for, I'm assuming, 1,000, that's still for 4,000, that's 1,300. And we got almost 1,700, so that doesn't make sense either. So what I think I'll do is put in several scoops and let's see if the price drops. Let's see if, as we provide more for the economy, I've got to get my fingers and toes all working right here, as we provide more and supply goes up, does demand go down, and pricing go down? Next question, can I successfully scoop this stuff? It is always a challenge. A little bit downhill, just touch, keep the wheels on the ground, right there, and squish them really good. There we go. Let's drive this through and see what we get. Let's go for the full 4,500. Or 4,492. Okay, I guess... We have a, a limit. <laughs> 92%. It's a 44.92, and that's right. Do not flip it too quickly. So we lift it on our way over there. Whoa. Squishy tires. Big rubber squishy tires. Balloon tires. All right. Dump it in, and it gives us a total of... There's 14.65. That's considerably less than last time. I was commenting on how this appears to be the better way to go because there's a lot more, get that down, than a bale of silage. Except a bale of silage is the same every single time. So it, the price doesn't fluctuate. So if this fluctuates to a considerably lower price, then that becomes the better way to do it. And I thought that'd be a great experiment for this episode. Where am I? Yeah, 1492 is our limit. Something not quite right there. But that's fine. There's not a whole lot of silage in this bay here. Or bunker, I guess they, if they're called. I discovered last time. Alright, you come into here. That's good. Take you up in the air. Go up too fast. Flip my whole uh, mana tube backwards. Alright, there's a 1455. So, it appears to be fluctuating like... Uh, like uh, crops do. Interesting to know. Now, I've got to figure out if there is a way to just naturally drop it to the right position each time. My new keyboard does have the ability to create macros. I'm sure there's a way I could do something like that, but that takes a lot more thought than I want to put into it right now. So, up just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and empty this guy out. As well, we'll, we'll build up the, our bank account a little bit too. I'm thinking, well, after this, we'll, if there's still time, we'll head over to the cow 
farm area. And do a little bit of silage work over there. Oh, there's so many controls to do with the same mouse. There we go. There is a joystick you can buy for this game and other games similar to it that will run all of the, the front loader kind of controls for you. And of course, there's a steering wheel that does all the other controls for you. I don't know if there's enough between the two of them to hit every control there is, or you still have to be able to reach over to the keyboard and, and do some things. To me, to have to do that, have three different controllers, that's already two, is or one is taxing my brain. And we're leaving stuff behind. I know there was a problem with that, of not being able to fully clean out the bunkers. So I thought that was fixed in the last one, or maybe that's what I just read that's going to be fixed in the next update. I think that's in the next update, 1.4, which hasn't happened yet. should be any day now. So this is probably going to be the last episode I'm going to make for a few days until that happens. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and, and inject some uh, funds into the game and start doing some slightly different things. Up a little more, right there. Get my camera a little higher. There we go. And what happens here? Oh, that'll go to 1492. Kind of. There's a 1436, so we are losing value now. So it makes sense to only do some of this at a time and then give it some time and wait. That's how you're going to have to rework this system. Anything changing in here? 317. It was 326 last time? Still doesn't make sense versus what we're actually uh, putting into a bucket. So I don't know how to relate that to any kind of reality. I want to make sure that there's no way... It's like it just can't reach it. I'm going to scrape real hard. Okay, I got it that time. Alright, we'll just run right down the edge. Oh, it's not been scraping hard enough. Alright, so tip it. Lift up a little. I wonder... Let's see what damage I can do from this view. <laughs> Don't have a lot of confidence in myself from in cab when it comes to buckets or... I think that's kind of centered. Or uh, uh, forks, pallet forks. I cannot get the real sense of distance until I hear the scraping noises. And then I know I went too far. All right. Now I'm pulling myself in. Is it dumping? There it goes. I'm scraping away. Okay, 1426. We'll go ahead and do the whole... Uh, well, maybe we won't. We'll do half of it. Where am I going? Right over... Where am I going? There I am. We'll do half of it, and then we'll come back another day and see if the price has returned to that almost 1700 if I'm remembering that correctly, uh, number. Okay, tip down a little bit, make contact, and scoop on through. Okay, we're there. Now, there is extending the, uh, the telehandler, too, to make it easier to, to scoop up into there. But that's yet one more control. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, where are you at? I gotta go higher, even though it makes me top heavy. Okay, so in other words, it's getting it up like this. And let's see, right mouse button and forward. And I'm still a little further, I'm sure. See, I still don't know how far I am. Am I touching? I'm inside? I think I'm inside, okay. So let's go out a little bit further and then tip it down. No matter what I do, it feels like it's the opposite. What I don't want to do is tip it and find myself dumping on the ground in front of it. Okay. 1417. Hmm. Well, we'll clean up the uh, this end of the of the bunker. Make that our, our goal here. Alright. Down. And... Where's the bottom? There it is. So that's about the angle that I want. Let's scrape the edge over here. There we are. Did I hit back there? 
now. Came to a sudden end. Yeah, with that arm out there, it feels like it's really heavy. There we go. Ah, that's where I'm going. This is where a steering wheel would be so much better. Because you don't get the jerk side to side and, and swing everything around. You can just very gradually move it over. Alright, I like it with the telehandler in. I can control it better. I'm going to go there, and we're just going to dump. Alright, up. And if I turn immediately, there's nothing right behind me. Now, it feels like I could aim this a lot better. So I can see where I'm going. Long backing up. When I can't just easily swivel my head like in real life. It just feels awkward. Alright, right there. Drop you down. Make contact and a little pressure. And we'll take it in. About like so. I'm there. Okay. So another two or three. We'll clean up this end. So I found if I just tap the wheel like this, I can kind of simulate you know, curving with a steering wheel. Although that's not quite the right angle. Now that shadow, maybe that's my clue. Okay, that's how I can tell if I'm close enough. Alright. Right about there. I think so. Up a little higher. Tip it further. I can pull myself in with it. Alright, 1397. Yeah, we're definitely losing value now. Now... Farming Simulator just announced its first DLC for tw for 17, and it's the Coon, if I remember the name, pack. So a whole bunch of, I think there's 18 new implements to purchase, including a, a new round bale wrapper and a square bale wrapper that are quite fun to watch. You can, uh, this isn't scooping anything. I think I need to do that again. Alright, try that again. Let's get a little more angle, and I dropped it. Okay, a little too much angle. Alright, a little more pressure. So I think I'm going to try to pick that up. That comes out in a week, on the 14th. Right there. Alright, that cleaned up this end. Nudge my way over most of this end. Alright, let's head over to here and do that again. There we are. Alright, I think I've got a good grip. Anyway, the idea of more, uh, of doing uh, uh, wrapped bales. What am I hitting? I gotta get outside. I'm not hitting anything. I thought that was kind of odd. A little more angle. Okay, when your bucket is full, the pile tends on, uh, tends to take on kind of a solid uh, feel to it, like you just hit a wall. And until your bucket is full, it's loose like sand. It's real interesting. Yeah, I can do this so much more confidently out here. Yeah, that feels so much better. That was the wrong reverse, but it did it. I kind of like the four-wheel drive, uh, four-wheel steering. All right, contact. Yeah, a little bit of pressure. All right, I'm thinking one more is going to clean us up enough to where we can call this part done. Anyway, so I want to get the Kuhn pack. I think it's K-U-H-N, if I remember that. It might have been K-U-H-M. I'm assuming it's more of a European company. I've never heard of them out here in America, but then I'm not really in this line of work either, so maybe it's a lot more common than I, than I think. But uh, I don't see commercials say, head down to your local Kuhn dealer on TV, so... <laughs> 
Probably not in this area. And uh, give us a lot more choices. And we're going to insert some serious funds. Either next episode or the one after that, whenever I get back to recording again with this, this series. And we'll take on some brand new challenges. Just have fun with it. Everything a little more ramped up and more serious way. Right there. Let's see if we can catch these last two spots. Just because that's the way I am. <laughs> and I don't know if I can dump new stuff in here until the old is completely cleaned out. Don't know if it likes to mix. Alright, that looks good. But we are jammed into the wall here. There we go. Alright, we'll call that good. Don't need a full bucket. But it's ready for us to test the next time we get over here. To see if we're going to get better than the 13-something about to get right now. one is done. Let's buzz over to the cattle. There we are. Gotta remember I'm I'm over here on the left side. I'm not centered like I'm used to on a tractor. Now I was going to use the regular tractor, the, the case over there at the cattle. Let's take this guy a little closer to this building, and I want to toggle over there and see if that's still there, and if that bucket is over there. I think that's the way I left it. The bale fork and the bucket and the case tractor and uh, you know, all that sitting over there. Let's kind of verify that. We'll pull off over here. If so, then this will just go right back to the, uh, the sheep farm. But this guy. All right, we got the tractor with the bucket. And the bale fork. Okay, that's all I really need. So we'll just start right here. And the idea... Now, unfortunately, I can only get this little chart when I'm hooked up to it. We've got to pull out anyway in order to get to the side of it to load. Am I there? I'm close enough there. Hello, roof. There we go. Let's pull... Actually, let's get off to the side a little bit. Don't need to feed them. Just want... Let's see. Let's actually back it up a little further. About there. So, F1 gives us this little chart here. And we're still within range. Wish it would tell me quantity. Is that like half full or what? If I were to drop in one more straw and one more grass. Okay, grass is the top one and straw is the bottom one. We'd, we'd risk overpowering the straw. But I don't have a little bit of straw to put in. Huh. Let's start with a... A hay or grass bale. Is it... It's actually hay, right? Yeah. So start with the hay. That 25% up there, the top one, will swing that closer to its extreme end over there. And we'll see where we're at. I want to put a little bit, you know, a half a bucket of... Well, probably a full bucket. This is only 1,800 of this in to kind of top off the mix to show why why I hit the wrong button why uh, we even have silage out in this area but let's cue that one that's interesting right back is that the symbol for total mix rations what down there at the 15 59 39 so we do have a quantity of 37 percent full it looks like a... Well, there's no symbol I've seen in this game before. It looks like it's a weed or something. Odd to choose that symbol for it. Anyway, let's... Actually, let's put this guy in here and grab the bale fork. 
right there. And G goes to the end, Q. Alright. And dare I try this from inside? That could go really wrong. Yeah, I can't look up there. Can't do it. But let's get in here. I'll get up on top of the cab. Um, you up. You... Yeah, I kind of like that angle. Just need to snag one. Something like that. Am I that close? No, it's just quivering in fear. You get close and it starts to shiver. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm lined up. Let's poke into it. It'll say 4,000 as soon as you make contact. And that is the symbol for hay. The grass mound with the asterisk over the top. So we're going to go in a little bit further, but nice and slow. And it'll settle down onto the forks. Like that. Up and tip a little. And up a little more. And I got to swivel out that way as I pull away. Okay, that works. And we'll just take it right on around into here. Again, do too fast and it'll topple the tractor. I've done that before. So this is what I want, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's no going back once you drop it in. Alright, so we're going to drop this guy in. He's going to magically disappear quite violently. And... Let's go see what the mix looks like now. Now, I don't think I can jump out here and get next to it. No. No way to interact with it. you got to be jump in and, and you know, tempt fate. But uh, you're going to have to be connected to it to be able to read anything. That's one thing I wish that, uh, that wasn't there. I wish they had a better way of doing that. All right. So, I guess what I could... All I could really do is just add a little more manually of the uh, of the the silage, which is that same symbol there, of the uh, kind of a roll of sod, but not quite the same as the real roll of sod. Um, okay, let's do a little more. Yep, wrong one again. Q is right next to tab. All right, so you get put away down like that. Swing in there, into the roof. There we go. And it is not the correct one, so G in there. Okay, I'll try that again. There we go. Not do this from inside the tractor. R. Bunker silo was opened. Okay. Now, I don't know what happens if you get to more than 100 percent in the uh, uh, in the, the mixing wagon. So if we overpower this, we need to add some straw. Not sure what happens. It's been a while since I've done this. I didn't do a lot of it before. And you mix it up one big uh, mixing wagon's worth, and it lasts for a long time. So do this two or three times for a, for a series, you know, for a, a playthrough in this game, and you're kind of done. All right, so there's 99% of this much smaller bucket. So you'd almost need to have a tractor hooked up to that one and a tractor loading it in. And then you can either have a, you know, someone else on a server with you saying, okay, a little more, stop. Or you just got to keep jumping out. And there needs to be a chart. Now, I can't see it from here. No. So even though I'm feeding it, I can't interact with it. Okay. So let's kind of stop. Let's see, it was 18. Let's go halfway. Nine something. Alright. Let's stop there. And go plug in. Go plug into the teleport here. And, and uh, get some information. So we're there. And that straw is going to last for a while. Okay. So Q. 
And let's dump the rest of the video. So I guess what I'm showing is that you can manually, without bales, actually get a fairly close to uh, uh, accurate mix of half, half, and half. We're 75% basically of this guy filled. But that was the, uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Let's see, well, no, let's not feed them anymore. Let's just put this away. Um, there we go. And maybe we'll grab the, uh, the wheel over there and try one more time. See if there's enough uh, feed space available to dump some of the of the other stuff in. All right, there. Is that the correct one? No, not that one. G, G, Q. All right, and now for that matter, hook you back up and let's. Will not let me. There we go. Okay, let's just do this. Here we are, kind of. Zoom in there. All right. Okay, feather it in there. We'll get there eventually. It'll work right now, but I kind of want it to at least look like I've lined it up. No, that's what I said I didn't want to do. Okay, edit this part out, <laughs> or not. I wanted to use the wheel. That's what I wanted to do. I always tell when I'm recording the end of the of the day after work. My brain isn't quite functioning. Alright, you going to no you're not. Now you are. I tell you if you need to practice backing up a trailer, this is a great game to do it. Alright. So, Q does release him. Let's go. I've got to do it from the back in this one. Let's go grab this guy again. Alright, now how can we measure this? Animals. Cleanliness is 51%. That right there will tell us that some of it went in. But I'm pretty sure I'm looking at grass. And 5736 of whatever the total is. 6,000? Don't know. So 5736 and 51. You guys can remember that, right? Let's give this a try. V, B. Let's drive inside here. Like so, and just see what happens. So far, it's looking good. I missed one spot there, but I didn't drive over it. Get to the end. All right, now what's this do? 51%? 5908. Okay, it has gone up this time. So if I were to go catch the last of this... Maybe we'll advance time to the top of the hour if that's what it takes to to complete it. Now, does anything spill out of it when we get to the end this time? It didn't. Ah, it did work this time. All right. So what do we got now? Still 51 percent, but we've we've added about 200 to the uh, to the grass. I didn't manage to look at the power food to see what that one was, but I will when I edit. But anyway, with that, let's advance time. Get up to 10 o'clock. I was going to run at a faster speed, but then I got to thinking, if we're going to buy some funds and go do some things with bigger to bigger toys, then it would be nice to have a you know, most of a full sunny day to record it in. So I decided to leave it at one speed. But let's stop right there and see if things updated. 100% cleanliness. Okay. So that's the answer. That one did work just fine. It just, uh, be, it, uh, there was nowhere for it to go. The food was whole. And so it just ignored it. So I think with that, 
Yeah, we're going to not record for a couple of days until the updates come in. And maybe even wait until the uh, that new DLC comes out. We'll see. We'll see if I get the bug this weekend to, to uh, the itch to come in here and, and uh, get to get to farming again. Um, otherwise, I'll be doing RimWorld and, and maybe I'll uh, take another peek at a couple of uh, other games that I've not completed the series on and get a couple episodes out. But this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching and hit the like and subscribe if you would. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.